the most shocking word <laughs> used to degrade a man is the hen pegged husband the moment i heard the hen pegged husband i was thinking why not the cock pegged wife but again it is the women they want to suppress be careful on that one yesterday i was sitting in our indranagar center and one ex police officer came with his wife and for everything they were discussing the police officer was turning towards his wife and for the people who were watching that is almost uh, asking him but for me i felt he is a very good man who is always discussing things after they left andrew came and told me gurji can you believe the man is a henpecked he is a police officer but is a henpecked husband <laughs> for anything and everything he is turning towards his wife and asking whether it is good or right then i explained to him look the word henpecked came from the colonial mindset the the invaders mindset and for the rulers mindset to trick you they know whenever the husband and wife discusses world war stops only creativity happens hence hitler was screaming during the second world war when america and great britain and france and russia was planning to sit together and discuss Hitler kept on begging America, please don't sit, please don't sit, please don't sit. You ask anything, I'll give. But they sat and <laughs> next day, within days, World War is over. Hitler got killed. They know if the husband and wife. So what they do is every time if the hus husband shouts at the wife, then he's a very cruel man. But if the wife starts controlling the house, I told Andrew. in our indian tradition the man goes out and works very hard and he comes back he sees the house is converted into a beautiful home multiplied into a beautiful home he is just walking into the bathroom and bathroom is cleaned and kept ready for him he can go to the bedroom bedroom is ready before he could anything think the wife has already brought the coffee or tea and the food is ready she takes care of the children takes care of the husband takes care of the house the education to so so he always thinks there's a big huge work in my absence without security god she secures me and my children this is our indian tradition our hindu tradition try to understand don't get carried away by the english dictionary language hen pecked husband hen pecked husband as long as the husband gives the wife total authority and the wife gives the husband total authority in india according to the hindu tradition the wife is in the home and she always even even if they both discusses also she tells the husband that you declare you light the lamp everything she gives to him even though she has done 99% of the work such was the beauty between husband and wife that has been broken by the term and husband always feel sorry for the wife because she is become pregnant she taken care of the children the pain she has undergone he cannot express i knew one i years officer he told when i had my first daughter we decided i looked at my wife's pain the way she struggles i thought i sh we should not have a second we should not have a second <laughs> look at the man the indian man and talk and then of course the wife and as we decide they had a second thing here the the tradition is just acceptance and she always goes down to touch his feet to tell you are the foundation and touching the feet means i promise not to pluck the foundation if you like it you will pluck it if you love it you will water it i will water this foundation i promise and the man what he does he keeps both the hand on his on her head to said everything 
of mine is yours. Now you talk whatever you want to. And the kiss on the forehead, yes. So don't get carried away by henpecked husband. It's a term created to slave you, slave master's language. All husbands face. Beautiful. If you are turned towards a wife and they were disgust. And if the, if, even if the people say the wife has taken the decision, be bold enough to say, yes, I have given her that authority to take her decision. Yes. In Japan also, the husband doesn't know anything. Everything is done by the wife. When the husband brings her salary, she gives to the wife even now. And the wife has to only tell, I talk, talk to your company manager. He got admission for your child. He made arrangements for the marriage. He purchased the house. And yes, he will only say, thank you very much, thank you very much. That kind of a give and take. Because a lover's life, they know positive and negative only can create Velak Deepa in the house. Now, positive and negative only can create like the yin and the yang. That is an orgasmic experience when man and woman, husband and wife, father and mother, Joined together physically, mentally, spiritually, the house itself is like a Diwali, beautiful fireworks, and people enjoy the fireworks. That happiness which is blooming, blooming inside the child, inside the house. Yes. So please allow. Don't think what the ladies and friends are said, telling, and then try to fight back with the wife. Sit. Yes. Together. Allow her the total freedom in the house. In Japan, the wife takes care of the shares, bonds, bank, electricity, water, telephone, everything, including the child's education, getting married, as far as only have to see if that is. They have, uh, they, when I asked them from where they got this culture, this series from India. <laughs> so please practice. It is not a hen pecked husband. It's a lover's paradise according to our Indian customs. <laughs>